back to Inside Ambition. I'm Alexandra George, and today on Drexel Update, I'm talking to Maddie from the Triangle's new podcast division, Tripod. Hi, Maddie. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for taking the time to be on our show. I know that you are in the midst of a lot of production yourself. <laughs> Oh my god, it's been so crazy. You think that like I wouldn't have a lot going on because of the pandemic that's happened right now, but since remote work is being co- becoming so frequently, I'm just constantly editing and it's, it's the tripod and then everything else I have going on. Yeah, it's definitely a lot. Content creation is fun, but it's a lot of work. <laughs> so why don't you start by telling us a little bit about your role in the tripod? So like I said, my name is Maddie. I am a producer and a senior editor for The Tripod. Currently, The Tripod is based on visions and opinions within the community. We want to create a welcoming, opening space for everybody's opinions to be welcome. We are small but mighty. We have two shows currently. First, we have Mark and Jair Explain Sports. And we also have the podcast Ain't That Brandon. No, Ain't That Something (laughs) by Brandon Martinez. Wow. And are these podcasts currently in the works? Have you guys released anything yet? Where are you in the production stage? So Jane is currently editing Mark and Jair's podcast. They're currently filming and editing episodes each week. Brandon is absolutely wonderful. He consists, I'm working on his podcast. He consistently wants to keep contact with me, facilitate the editing. And even I appeared on his show. Like he just wants everybody to come on. I can explain Brandon's show a little bit better, but with his podcast, it's just two friends hanging out, getting to know each other and actually learning more about the person and his role and his theme that he wants to have for this season of his podcast is the future is female, which I think is absolutely wonderful. So those are the current two shows we have right now. We are currently creating guidelines, contracts. We're trying to get more recruitment and especially recruitment is really important right now since even though we're going to be remotely for this fall, we still want people to join as much as they can. Yeah. So why did the Triangle decide to create this podcast division? I know we have WKDU at Drexel, which is a really popular radio show. So a lot of people like to bring their podcast selves there. Um, But why did the Triangle decide to add this division? So the tripod has actually been something that has kind of been independent on their own. There was a founder named Armand who originally founded the tripod, but it was separate from the triangle. Okay. So once Armand graduated, Jane and I, Jane took over. And when I met Jane and I joined Jane, we wanted to collaborate to this thing together. We've decided that we wanted to collaborate with the triangle because we would work together as a team. We kind of go hand in hand. It's the triangle, the tripod, we just figured it would go together. And yeah. I think it's much better that we are staying with the triangle because I feel like we can bounce back off of each other and, you know, we're big supportive resources. Yeah, for sure. Could you elaborate a little bit on that partnership with the triangle and that resource exchange? Do you see any future where there's a news podcast or something like that? For a news podcast, I honestly, everything can go into the tripod, whether it's news, sports, opinions, politics, friends, anything, anything, any topic that you want, it could all go under the tripod. So nothing will be separated within the tripod. It's mm-hmm. all going to be together. When we decided to go together with the triangle, we thought it would be better to exchange resources because obviously with an organization, we would like to have like the money, the funds, the support, especially with any uh, subscriptions or upfront costs like microphones or editing softwares. Mm-hmm. Plus the triangle has the Adobe Creative Cloud, which is what I use to edit these my podcasts for other people's shows on here Mm -hmm. so yeah and we can and we also wanted to have our own individual space when we return on campus to have people have a quiet room independently to record themselves so the triangle i we are thankful for the triangle that they can help us out get us on our feet because i think starting up a new organization or division or a club or anything like that is more difficult than it is to get the resources and money that you need so we are thankful the triangle oh yeah I definitely agree as someone that started this show in my bedroom yeah I definitely agree you definitely need to find a space especially for like your first year just getting started yeah but at the same time as much as the triangle is providing resources to you and is a benefit to you I mean I feel like the tripod is going to bring a lot to the triangle um just talking about like viewership and I know um, last year, the Triangle had some issues with funding. 
Um, so what do you think the tripod is going to bring to the triangle and what do you think the tripod is going to bring to Drexel? When I think of the triangle, I think of a lot of like journalism, communications, and definitely with the tri the tripod, excuse me, I think that the tripod can bring more of a creative aspect to it. Graphic designers, audio editors, audio productions, more of those things that you would typically find in the Westfall College to bring into the triangle. And I know the triangle has an application and there's very limited sectors, jobs, I guess you can say, that are on that application. And I think we would like to see more of that. We were talking to the president then and you were like, well, if you have a graphic designer, you know, we can exchange this. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, we don't have a graphic designer on the tripod. Jane and I, when we were having, having this meeting, we're like, hey, let's bring over a graphic designer. When we can find a graphic designer, we can also share with the triangle as well. So pretty much I think the triangle can give a create the the tripod can give a creative aspect to the triangle. Yeah, I know you mentioned a bunch that you guys are currently in the process of recruiting, which I know can be very difficult when we're virtual. Yes. You can't just walk up to people oh on the goodness. street. But how if people watching want to get involved, what should they do? We are currently creating our social media pages, but you can also get in contact with our emails and you can also get in contact through the triangle since we're still setting ourselves up. So we'll definitely make sure to link your email down in the description below so those interested can get involved and they can get involved with either of the podcasts you mentioned or could they start their own? Of course, anybody can start their own podcast and you can, it can only not just be yourself, but it can also be multiple hosts. You can also bring guests. If you have anything that's relating to a specific topic, I know Brandon wanted to bring on people who've had certain experiences or like different topics um, relating to like his past. And Brandon is going very, he not to say heavy, but Brandon definitely does for, for ain't that something. Brandon definitely goes into experiences that not a lot of people would definitely talk about or would be considered taboo. So I think definitely an open range of whatever people want to discuss about is going to be great for us because like I said, envisions and opinions. That's right. So for those who want to watch either or listen to Brandon or the sports podcast, where do they go to find the Tripods material? SoundCloud, Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Awesome. We are getting all those set up for the fall term. We're going to make the big first soft opening in the fall. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Maddie, for taking the time to talk with me. It was lovely to see you. Thank you so much. I'm so happy that I get to meet you and like actually see you again. If you guys are interested in checking out the Tripods material, make sure that you're looking out for their new social media pages and that you're finding their content coming this fall. And if you want to get involved, we'll link their emails down in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe and we'll see you soon.